Watchmen like to tell us they know the time is now because they know the signs to look for and they know the order of events. In fact, the rest of us are often berated because we are too blind to see what is so obvious to them. But what exactly is it they keep seeing? Well, in times of war, they see Jerusalem surrounded, which clearly means rapture. But then when there's a ceasefire, that's peace and safety, which also clearly means rapture. Never mind the fact that these two propositions are mutually exclusive. Watchmen just somehow know that both of them are proof of an imminent rapture. It depends on which of them is in today's headlines. Look, the locust army is unleashing a war. Three weeks later, the Antichrist is signing his peace treaty. That was a quick war. The solar eclipse is a sign of his appearing. A sign! Oh, no, just kidding. Jesus will appear unannounced. All prophetic events required for the rapture have clearly been fulfilled, so we must be leaving any day. Oh, no, wait, news incoming. There's another war in Israel, so now they've all been fulfilled. Watchmen do this all day, every day. War means rapture. Peace means rapture. Chaos means rapture. Safety means rapture. Let me give my hot take on this. It seems to the rest of us that you guys really do not have a clue on the signs. You do not take Bible prophecy to come up with a timeline and then project it outward. What you're really doing is taking daily headlines and calling them prophecy. You cherry pick random Bible verses out of context, one day pushing war, the next day pushing peace, with no rhyme or reason, entirely based on headlines. Then when the rest of us tell you you're just guessing, you call us mockers. This is why we don't have any confidence that you know what you're doing. If you disagree with my take on this, I will need you to explain to me how your daily content is not the contradictory guesswork it looks like.